All right, today we will continue in tutorial 3. In tutorial 2, we see how to read a file using link to XML with Xdocument. In tutorial 1, we will also cover it. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment box. Remember, click on the subscribe button so that you get notified. There's a red subscribe button down there. Click on it so that you subscribe to my channel and then you get notified and get answers to your questions. All right, let's get to work. So we open Visual Studio and continue from where we stopped. Uh, just a little update on this one. We wanted to add a separator between uh, each of the elements because in lesson two, when we run the file, it displayed everything, but it, the separator was just at the end. We want this separator to be after each of the elements. So the later modification is going to be um, we are going to say eight documents dot rules dot elements. So that is the change we are going to make there. So at this point the book contains all the elements separated. So if we run the program now, I hope it's going to separate them uh, into lines. Okay, so you can see each of the book is separated the way it is right there in the file. So the difference is just xmx document dot root dot element. So we've added two functions representing two of the tutorials, and this time we are going to add the the state function and this one we are going to assess how to assess a single element in XML file okay so uh, let's call it public void read single element that is the name of the function and so um, just as usual we are going to use x element to work so define a new x x element x element always have this in mind just as a reminder in the using directives you need to in, you need to put using system.xml using system.xml.link and just a quiz in case you have an interview. Um, link means language integrated query. X elements is an abstract type, meaning that you can actually initialize it. X elements dot load. So we are going to load books dot XML. So there is a syntax to load an XML file into the memory of your program. All right. So as usual, we define an enumerable type that will hold the list of all the elements. Enumerable type of X elements. X element represents the nodes. Uh, books equal to x element uh, dot elements all right so this holds all the elements in the file all right now we are talking about assess a single element okay so um Okay, assess a single element. Let's take a look inside the document at this time. Now we want to display a list of all the authors, or all the books, all the titles of the books. We are not interested in the genre, in the price, and published day. We just want to display the title of all the books in there. So we want to assess a single element in this case title all right so we want to display all the titles so what the next thing we are going to do 
um, let me just write a heading that says uh, let's call it all the titles okay this will be the heading of our display all right so the next thing as usual you say for each for each uh, variable book in books okay if it makes sense to you that would be fine because we are saying that book is an element in books so elements book represents one of the elements book contains elements book contain one element inside book so one of the book is book so the list of all the books is an enumerable type of x element so book is an x element books it's an enumer enumerable type all right so now we want to display all the titles so take note of how we are going to do it okay let's just say string let's just write it directly so um, I want to make it a little easier for you to understand so let's just define a string element string although this is not the best way to write programs defining a, a, an element inside a loop but just for clarity I'm going to do string uh, single uh, book equal to book uh, dot element and now is where you need to specify uh, what you want so book dot element title is what we want dot value book dot element title dot value okay so so that is what we want to do okay, I think so I think let's say book dot element title dot value okay let me explain what is happening with value so if you look at the value it represents uh, an x element of value so okay so let's try to correct that problem string uh, single book is equal to book dot element title dot value okay so which is actually the same thing so now we have a problem of using the lowercase string for the uppercase so this this class is sends a string a set of characters the, the other one is an object maybe we get a clear understanding so let's write single book okay I hope this is a little play to you um, so let's go ahead to run it and see if we are going to get a list of all the books okay wow it's displaying everything let's see okay in programs we need to call the right function so let's comment this function and call the right one fn dot read single element this is how it's supposed to be 
dot read single elements elements okay. Okay, so let's correct it here read single elements so let's run and see if we are going to get a list of only the title of the books as you can see all the titles is giving us list of all the titles let's beautify it by maybe adding um, adding a separator to let's just add a separator so that we make sure everything is working perfectly fine right so so if I go ahead to run this time uh, uh, wow what is happening okay semicolon here so I hope to see a list separated oh beautiful beautiful so this is the list of all the books uh, we've succeeded in assessing single elements in the XML file so remember the secret is using the book dot element the particular title or the particular uh, uh, element you want or the note and get the value so this is where we end the tutorial for today remember click on subscribe so that you get updated locate the subscribe button and click on it now so we've completed tutorial 3 so the next one we'll be going to now is tutorial uh, tutorial 4 okay so I hope you are ready okay so see you in tutorial